Hello everybody, this is Drunk Goomba 1645 Welcome back to more Let's Play Slide 3 Under Monk Thieves. Today we got a couple of jobs to tackle, and let's go ahead and get this one out of the way, because again, this one is actually the closest. So let's get started right now. It's time we dealt with Bugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't find him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into meeting in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Bentley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, so this phase of the job, in order to complete it, we obviously have to interrogate Mugshot into fighting us out in the town square. So, let's go ahead and talk to him and see what we can actually do to actually make this happen. I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way! I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. Hmm, I gotta bait him into the fight. Well, no shit, so maybe I should insult him in some way. So, let's see, I should insult either his record versus the Cooper gang, his breath, or his mental fa- fa- faculties. That's it. That's the word I was looking for. So, let's first insult him against the record of us. So, let's do that. I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. Okay, let's try insulting his breath. My head is spinning from your breath. What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, you're half right. I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my poisonal space. <laughs> poisonal spice. <laughs> uh, okay, let's make fun of his face. Do you even know what I'm saying to you? Or are you too stupid to understand the words coming in through your ear holes? What? What's an ear hole? Talk sense, why don't you? Okay, let's... Uh, let's insult his appearance. You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look, if you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say nothing at all. Get it? What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. You really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. <laughs> oh man, now for the big mother. Let's insult his mother. Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentleman callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Okay. 
Okay, Sly. Bugshot is on his way outside. Go find Inspector Fox and lead her back to the town square. Now for phase two of this job. And in phase two, we have to search for Carmelita Fox. But thankfully, she is conveniently located via the... Uh... Dang it, the freaking waypoint system, I think. I mean, that should be it. I don't see why it wouldn't be. So let us rob more money, more lives, more dreams, and more stuff. Why? Because we can. And I have nothing else to really say about this matter. So what am I to talk about now? Again, I am not very sure. I kind of do that and then I instantly come up with something, but this time it is kind of different. Hello, Carmelita. Time, time for a little chase. Hey, Inspector Fox, still looking for a date to the prom? Quit running and I'll spin the first slide on you. <laughs> That's actually a pretty funny insult. Now, for this next phase, ouch, you bitch. Let's not get shot and lead her all the way to the town square. So, during this phase, just run again in a zigzag fashion and try not to sit still and let Carmelita shoot you. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems. I'm dead serious. It's that bloody annoying. Okay. Dang it. Okay, I'm here at the town square, nothing's happening. What the hell? Damn it! I got killed. Of course. So, let's try this again. So, god damn it, I can't believe I have to go all the way to Carmelita again. So, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut, and I will see you guys back for when I get Carmelita to chase me. So, or I'll just lead her to the town square and see what happens. So, see you guys soon. Okay, I'm in the town square, now what? Okay, okay, I was actually thinking of the wrong place. It's actually over here. That's where I was supposed to lead her. Not to the hotel front door. Man, I am such an idiot. A real man. Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dirt. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cob hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady, feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby. <laughs> Greatest insult ever. Not, but still, this phase of the job now involves us actually fighting Mugshot again. And unlike last time, Mugshot is not a pushover. Well, actually, he was kind of a pushover in the first game, but I kind of proved that he really wasn't. But nonetheless, now what you gotta do is obviously just shoot Mugshot over and over again and try not to get killed yourself. And obviously just uh, kind of do what you would normally see in like the Matrix or something, just jump around as he's shooting you and just shoot him before he kills you. It's pretty simple. And look, he's already about dead. And just as I say that, he is now dead. Not you. I'm sorry. I didn't know they was yours. <laughs> it, it'll take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. And there we go. The first job is complete. Next up is a trophy, apparently. And the next job actually is over here, which we have to pretty much drug a giant wolf. Oh boy. I love wolves, and they love putting drugs in them. 
It's the best freaking combination ever. Might as well give an ape steroids. Seriously. <laughs> and I'm bloody kidding about that. So if you're an animal rights activist and you find that offensive, I do apologize. But again, please just learn to take a joke. I mean, seriously, you should be able to sense the sarcasm that was coming out of my mouth. I mean, why wouldn't you? So, what am I to talk about now? Again, I'm not very sure. Again. So, I guess I'll go ahead and just go ahead and... St I'm going crazy again. Let's start this job and stop talking. Aha! A perfect feral specimen of Lupus Gigantormus. So, let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, drugging it, putting the guru on board, and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree. In simplicity itself. By channeling the wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks. Which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the finals. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on, this plan seems a little... risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify the beast, provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. Alright, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh, well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few... meters. Meters? Quit trying to freak me out and put the guru on the monocucom. After I put the wolf to sleep, it'll be up to you. Fawara, hoja. Thanks, guru. You always know just what to say. Even though I have absolutely no idea what the hell he's even saying at all, so... Oh, that bloody sucks for me, and for you, because no one can ever understand a guru worth a damn. So, we now have to get within a certain amount of uh, distance in order to actually shoot this bloody wolf. And, once we shoot the wolf, that is when we need to make our escape. Shoot the wolf four times once you get a certain amount of feet, and you'll be fine. Just as long as he doesn't catch whip of you first. And once you reach this certain number of feet, all you... Uh, as I was going to say, once you reach this certain number of feet, a little targeting cursor will appear over the wolf. At least I think that's how it goes with the remake, but I'm not sure about the original version. I think the original version is slightly harder because it doesn't tell you the distance. So now that the wolf is now within range, we now to be, need to get our ass out of here! And once he... Once he catches the... Ugh! Damn it! I'm going in circles again! Once he turns away and just, uh, gets off of your ass, you should be fine. Just as long as you don't get spotted by anyone else first. Again, just stay behind the wolf and get him from above and you'll be fine. Okay, so fire and done. Nice work, big game hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. Guru, you're up. You should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. And now that the wolf is asleep, we now move on to phase two. And we now have to possess this stupid Hold freaking wolf. Damn it. Okay, so... Unlike other enemies that we actually have possessed over the over the game, over time, we now actually have to keep an eye on the wolf's actual health. If we happen to run the wolf into walls or run him into the river or anything like that, he will actually lose some health. However, much like Murray, he actually can take quite a beating. And it'll take him a little while before he actually goes down. So, yeah, just keep this in mind. Just don't be completely reckless. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. And damn it! Okay, I guess I was kind of wrong about him going into the river. 
if he goes into the river at all, he instantly dies. And why the hell was the wolf floating? I... I seriously don't know how the hell nature works. <sighs> so, let's see, how many enemies do I have to kill? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So five times three, that equals 15. So we have to destroy 15 enemies and let's not fall into the water like an idiot. As I was going to say, we have to destroy 15 enemies and then our mission is complete, I think. Then again, there's probably another face. I'm just not thinking of it. I don't know. Yes, I know. Mow them down and let's not fall into the river like an idiot. Obviously, in order to take out these thugs, when you're near them, just push the square button to attack. However, he, the wolf cannot attack while you're in the air, so keep this in mind as well while traversing. Wolf can sometimes go a little too fast, but still, that's just the way the wolf controls, and that's just the way it really is. Damn it! Crash the freaking wall again. At least it, the game is nice enough to actually give you plenty of health. Not only for the wolf's HP, but just uh, health items in general. I mean, seriously, it just practically hands you health items every couple of seconds. Well, okay, maybe not every couple of seconds, but still, quite often, I'll say that. Man, I love this phase. This phase is actually quite a lot of fun. Keep it up. That's ten fewer pilots in the finals tomorrow. Oh yeah, just five more enemies, and I kind of almost fell into the river just a few seconds ago, but still, that was then. This is now. We're just gonna keep moving on our very merry way. And we're going to keep killing enemies left and right. And thank god the enemies actually respawn, I think. Yep, just three more enemies to go. And once that's done... Yeah. I seriously wonder, why do we have to use a giant wolf in order to take out all the enemies? Couldn't we just take them out ourselves? I mean, seriously, like, what the hell? Oh yeah, just two more to go, and then we'll be done. And I fell into the bloody water! Damn it! And I gotta do it all over again. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut, and I will see you guys back for when I have one more enemy left to kill. So, see you guys soon. Don't worry. Damn it! Freaking pole. Die. God damn it! Why the hell can't I hit this one enemy? Don't Again. There we go, finally. God damn. Okay, I am back and we have one more pilot left to go again. Why? Because... Because I said so, okay? So let's kill this one last pilot, and there we go. Job is now complete. Excellent. That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals.